Okay, let me tell you where I get my ideas. There are a number of parks near, near, nearby where I walk and think, and uh, I made my most important discoveries in my sleep. This is the best place to think, <laughs> in your bed. But otherwise, I just walk and think. Yakir Aranoff's views of nature differ dramatically when compared to everyday experiences. He developed these views to answer the two biggest mysteries in physics. Start every subject by first defining a paradox, something that looks completely impossible, and then by learning how to solve it, you make real progress. Why is nature capricious? I was trying to understand more deeply why does nature behave this way. Maybe there is a difference between the two atoms, but we cannot discover this difference in the past. We can only discover the difference in the future, but once we discover it in the future, it tells us that already in the past they were different, and only the future tells us what this difference was. So then I reformulated the mathematics of quantum mechanics saying that if we want to describe fully the present, we have to take two information. One information that comes from the past, this is the usual way of doing physics, but another information that comes back from the future to the present. You've been given a great gift, George. A chance to see what the world would be like without you. And I discovered a new type of measurement that I called weak measurement that interacts very, very gently with each particle. You find new information that indeed indicates that the future is also relevant. And now many laboratories in the world are doing experiments of this type and they find very interesting new features of quantum mechanics. So instead of being seen as capriciousness, nature gained something very beautiful through indeterminism the future became relevant to the present. A single particle in two places? So in classical physics, it was necessary for force to act on a particle to be in the same place where the particle is. A quantum particle like an electron, each time you look at it, you always find it at one place. No local interaction between the field here. When you don't look at it, it suddenly behaves in a very mysterious way because it seems as if it can be at the same time at two locations or many locations. What I discovered was that I can have a force at one place and the quantum particle in this mysterious way is in two different locations, but none of them are in the place where the force is. Nevertheless, it feels the force. I like to smoke cigars, so I just walk and think, that's all. <laughs>